welcome back to the vlog. It is Tuesday. I'm still enjoying my beautiful Aveda flowers. They've literally like changed the whole vibe of this room. They're so colourful and gorgeous. I'm sure you saw a little recap of the last couple of days. Sunday was like a really good reset day. I had acupuncture in the morning, which I haven't gone to in like five years. I got this notion to go back and it was so good. Like there's nothing in particular I'm going for. I just want to look after myself a little bit coming into the winter months. So I went back to Dr. Chen and it was so good. It like took me down three notches. And then on Sunday night, I went to my women's circle with Lucy Bloom. It's something I've been doing for, I guess, almost three years now. So I used to do it month to month and now I do it in like a cycle of like six months. And it's basically you meet once a month either on the full moon or the new moon. This cycle, it's the new moon. And you just take some time to come back to yourself. We do a lot of yoga nidra, a lot of cool movement. Um, Lucy gives us a really in-depth insight into what's happening with the planets. Obviously, this is a Virgo new moon. This is my birthday season. So we talked a lot about that and the kind of energies that that brings up. And then I always pull a couple of cards, light some candles, light some incense, and there's usually a group of like at least 50 women on the Zoom call. And it's just this really cathartic, nourishing two hours in the month. And that's the best way I can describe it. If it's not your thing, it's not your thing and you won't get it. But if you are into that kind of stuff, it's just really, really powerful. And we do a lot of work around looking at our goals, what we want to achieve, where we're at emotionally. And we do a lot of journaling and it's honestly just two hours every single month that you like close the door and just really sit with yourself, which is, I find really, really great and really works for me. So that was on Sunday night. That was a lovely start to the week. It kind of like a hit the reset button. Yesterday was a lot of writing and today I'm working on something really fun. So basically I'm collaborating with DFS as part of the Ideal Home Show and I'm going to put together a little kind of pop-up store. So in case you don't know, I run an interiors website called Gaff Shop and it's basically like a circular platform for people to buy and sell interiors or home pieces. But unlike other resale websites, I vet everything. So once someone decides they want to sell something, they take their pictures, they send it in to me with like a price, their location, whether they are happy to drop something off or if they just are willing to have it collected. A really good description and then basically what kind of condition it's in and I go through all the photos and the info and I make sure the photos are really clear, that the information, that there's enough information for someone to make a good judgment on something because obviously it's all done online. And then once it's set live, people can message seller and then kind of sort out the delivery and the sale between them. So I've been running it since 2020 and it's just something I love so much. I love interiors. It's a really big passion of mine. The shop is facilitating people like me to buy secondhand or buy pre-loved, buy really, really nice pieces at a good price, but not spend hours and hours trawling through some of the other sites where you're going through a lot of crap and it's really time consuming. And because Gath has this really great community, personally, I feel like you kind of know you're buying from somebody who is another home lover it's not just some random person getting rid of something so it's been going great and it's been building kind of nicely over the last couple of years it's a free to use service so i haven't been charging but i am starting to look at maybe i don't know paying to like have your pieces featured on instagram or something and i'd also love to like integrate um a payment system so that if you want to buy something from someone you can like pay them online and then have it shipped so I'm working on all that, but for now, it's just a little business that kind of ticks away by itself. And I support it by doing different collaborations with brands. So one of those collaborations would be this with DFS. So basically, they're going to give me a space at the Ideal Home Show. I'm going to decorate it with a DFS sofa. And then everything else is going to be sourced from Gaff Shop. Um, just to show people what can be done with secondhand interiors. Really, really nice ones. And I'm going to custom design the space. And I'm kind of going to use it as a tester to see if there's maybe room to do a pop-up shop at some stage. 
you know, the online is great, but I do think there is a lot of value in seeing stuff in real life. That is a very long winded way of saying that this morning. I'm planning my mood board for that space, what I want the paint colors to be, what kind of furniture I want. I've already messaged a couple of sellers to see if I can buy some items from them. And I'm just putting it together slowly, but it's really exciting. And I love this stage of planning where you kind of have a blank canvas and you can decide what you want to do. I'm gonna go for a very Scandi paired back Danish look, something that I gravitate towards naturally. And of course, after Copenhagen, I'm full of inspiration. So I'm working that this morning, got some more deadlines um, this afternoon. And then tomorrow, I'm so excited, I'm going to the Brown Thomas autumn winter presentation. So traditionally, Brown Thomas would have done a show for autumn, winter and spring, summer. So they would have had one show in like February and then one around July. And they've decided to change the format. So instead of a show this year, they're going to do a presentation and a dinner. So I've no idea what that will entail, but I'm so excited. I know Lauren and Karina will be there, so I won't be going solo. So that's tomorrow evening. So in between, I'm just trying to get as much work as I can done. So I will get back to my mood board. I'll show you what it turned out like. And um, let's jump on this call and see what they think of my plan. <laughs> You can hear Harley, she's like snoring <laughs> next to me. I had to give her a bath this morning after her walk. She was just filthy. And after a bath and a big walk and her breakfast, she's literally snoring so loudly. So if you hear something, that's what that is. I am sitting in the natural light because honestly, I'm having one of the worst breakouts ever this week. And I don't know about you, but like when my skin isn't good, it just does so much to my confidence. But anyway, hopefully I'm turning a corner. I've just been like trying to mind my skin and just like let it breathe. I obviously put on a lot of makeup last night for the Brown Thomas dinner, which was so nice. So I don't know if you can see, but I stole more flowers. No, I didn't steal. I was gifted more flowers. I'm telling you, if you stay till the end of an event <laughs> and you're a hanger on, they will give you flowers and ask you to leave. Um, Seriously though, it was so generous of the team. I've never, ever seen flowers like there was last night. They were by Mark from the garden who, I mean, I love Mark anyway, and I know he's so, so talented, but I feel like last night he outdid himself. It was like these little miniature pieces of art on the table. It was insane. So I managed to take home two. I like popped them in a little brown Thomas bag. And when I got home, transferred them to two vases. I don't know how long they'll last because they're just so unusual. I've never even seen some of the, of the flowers like them. But for as long as they last, I'm going to enjoy them. I've one here and I've one downstairs and they're just insane. So had a great time last night. It was a little different to what the usual Brown Thomas said it would be. Usually it's a show and it would take place like early in the morning and then people go back to work. But this was so nice. It was like a table, I think for maybe about 80 people. It felt like very intimate. They had said it would be intimate, but it actually really was. And it took place in one Wimmel Lane. So this really beautiful old building that's been renovated. 
Um, so just like long tables, lots of flowers, lots of mingling when we came in. There was like champagne and some cocktails. Um, I had some champagne, which was so nice. And then we were all seated. So everyone had their place and we sat down and it was like a three course meal. I was dying to know who cooked the food and I found out it was by Ethos, which is a restaurant on Baggett Street. Very minimal, very chilled. And we just chatted and they played the campaign video in the background on like a large screen. And then towards the end of the dinner, there was a musician who came on and performed three songs. She was so cool. I think her name was Alice. I'll try and find out, but she was amazing. And that was it. We all like took our flowers and went home. So very low key, really nice to catch up with everyone. Courtney was there, Lorna was there, Karina was there. Um, and then loads of other people who I never get the chance to chat to. So it was just lovely and like very, very beautiful campaign this year. They gave us a book actually, which I'll flick through, of like some of the featured pieces. I'm all about Loewe. I'm just obsessed. Like if I could be dressed in Loewe for the rest of my life, I would be so happy. I was actually sitting next to the accessories buyer for Brown Thomas at dinner and we had such great chats and she's... Loewe. I was like, who's your brand this this season? She was like, Loewe always. So I always feel like when I'm invited to something Brown Thomas does, it's such a treat. I can remember the first show I was invited to. I'd been working at Image as an intern and then I graduated to being a junior editor and I was like, oh, this is so exciting. I'm like starting my career. And I remember the first invite I got to a show and it was such a big deal because it, it really was the only kind of show or the only um department store that did that kind of thing and i've been very lucky to be going ever since and i love it it's something i look forward to every year it's always really creative it's always put together really beautifully and it's such a great opportunity for so many people in the industry to kind of come together and catch up and meet and i have a really nice weekend ahead i'm actually recording a podcast in the morning with robin she's very kindly to be a guest on her podcast so that's going to be interesting and then i'm actually heading to cork this weekend so I'm going to go home. I haven't decided whether I'll go Friday or Saturday yet, but I'm going to go home, bring Harley with me. And on Saturday night, I'm heading to Cork City to head out with the girls for some food and drinks for my birthday. And I'll come back then to Dublin on Sunday, but I'm so looking forward to heading home. It'll be nice to have a change of scenery. Can't wait to bring Harley. Like Harley gets on so well at home now. So that'll be really nice. Uh, so today I've got a couple of deadlines I need to get done just to take the pressure off next week. I managed to get a good few podcasts recorded and edited yesterday. So I'll see if I can do a little bit more work on those, get them scheduled. And yeah, crawling my way to the weekend, I'm not gonna lie. I was really hoping to pop into Pret this week to try it out. I just haven't had time. So I'm gonna put that on my list for next week because I need to see what the, the Prep story is. Like, is Prep gonna be a big deal in Ireland? They're planning loads of these store openings, but then You've got like places like Leon that just didn't work here and they've closed up and they've given up and they've left. It'll be really interesting to see if Pret takes off and if if we're ready for Pret. I mean, these are the big issues that we have to discuss. <laughs> um, on TV news, things that have actually brightened my week this week. Bad Sisters on Apple TV is so good. It's an Irish cast. It's set in Dublin. It's so funny. It's so delicious. Anyway. I'm just procrastinating for my deadlines. I need to go and get writing and I will talk to you later. I'll see you.